virtual reality pre-prosthetic hand training with physics simulation and robotic force interaction. High quality early training after amputation is vital for success in prosthetic hand users. Virtual reality is appealing because it can produce controlled rehabilitation scenarios prior to prosthesis fitting. However, existing systems are often not accurately simulated and users are unable to feel the virtual prosthesis. In this work, we aim to provide realistic prosthetic hand simulation and improve user training compared to virtual reality alone. To achieve this, we have accurately simulated a tendon-driven prosthetic hand. And we have utilized an external robot arm to provide accurate force feedback from the simulation. Compensation prevents the arm from reaching its joint limits and counteracts inertia. Non-disabled participants completed training trials with the platform before performing test trials with the real prosthetic hand. A control group performs test trials only, virtual reality group performs training in VR before testing, and a robot enhanced group performs training with the proposed platform before testing. First experiment performed was the box and blocks test. Ten training trials were performed and five test trials. Each group contained five participants. Here we see a participant of the VR group performing training trials. The user has no force feedback and cannot feel the weight or reaction forces of the prosthetic hand. This video shows a participant of the RE group performing training trials. This time the user has force feedback and is able to feel the weight and reaction forces of the prosthetic hand at the attachment point of the prosthesis on their forearm. This video shows a participant performing test trials with the real prosthesis. The second experiment performed was a timed pick and place task followed by a perception questionnaire. Five training trials were performed followed by five test trials. Each group contained three participants. Here we see a participant of the VR group performing training trials picking and placing a spray bottle, a bowl, and a screwdriver. Now we can see a participant of the RE group performing training trials, picking and placing a cracker box, a spray bottle, and a credit card. Finally, we can see a participant performing test trials, picking and placing a banana, a strawberry, and finally a credit card. The box and blocks results show that the RE group outperforms the VR group in training, and RE training improves real world performance significantly. However, any virtual training exhibits a sim to real gap. Pick and place results show that RE and VR training results are similar. There is still a sim to real gap. VR training actually reduces real world performance. The perception questionnaire results show that RE training is closer to the physical demand and effort of the real prosthesis. However, RE training is more frustrating than with the real prosthesis. This could be caused by the force feedback exacerbating the sim to real gap. In summary, the proposed platform improves the real world performance of participants on the box and blocks dexterity assessment, leads to no significant decrease in performance on more complex pick and place tasks, it's not perfect. Limitations in rigid body simulation means there are discrepancies between the virtual and the real world performance and frustration can occur and is comparable to using a real prosthetic in terms of perceived physical demand and effort. Thank you for watching.